Hello golfers, Brian Pate here. I wanna talk about ball position. I get asked frequently to make a video on this. So what I have here is I have the golfer's toolbox laid out. And if I extend the middle alignment rod, it's at the back of the back golf ball. That's gonna be our wedge shots. So I have my 60 degree wedge here. If I was green side, my feet are gonna be the narrowest. My ball is gonna be in the middle, that narrow stance for my normal finesse wedge technique. Now, if I was hitting this 60 degree, say 60 yards, I'm gonna have slightly wider stance, but that golf ball is still gonna be this back golf ball in my stance. So that golf ball's center, slightly forward to center, which is gonna help me turn through it and have good contact with the wedge. Now, if I put that to the side, I'm gonna grab an eight iron. So my eight iron, I'm gonna move it up just a fraction from this golf ball that's in the middle. And I would say the nine iron through the wedge is gonna be roughly in the middle of your stance, maybe underneath your buttons. As I get to my eight iron, the stance is gonna start growing slightly wider. And that golf ball is now gonna be a little bit more forwards than that middle golf ball. So it's gonna start scooting closer to my logo on my chest, a little bit left of my buttons here. And that's gonna be, say for an eight iron, seven iron, roughly to a six iron, roughly in this stance in ball position location. Now everyone's gonna be different. This is just a baseline ball position video. So I can put that one back in play. And I'm gonna come over here and grab a four iron. So that's gonna be say two balls forwards of the middle. Now I'm gonna have a slightly wider stance and the golf ball is starting to sneak to my logo or slightly to the left side for a right-handed golfer. So that golf ball is starting to become the most forwards. And my shaft lean, if I had my wedge, it's gonna have the most lean. As I start getting to my longer iron, it's gonna have a little bit of lean in there, but that golf ball is gonna start moving more forwards in the stance. So say three iron, four iron, five iron, it's up in this position at the logo, a little bit left of the logo. The stance is gonna be a little bit wider because we're gonna have more speed with this thing. That could also be your hybrids as well. As I grab a three wood, I'm gonna move this golf ball back in position and pull out the fourth golf ball. So as I get to my three wood, the stance is gonna get a little bit wider it's getting closer to my armpit right here. Maybe it's off just the back of my heel. Now the shaft's neutral. It's starting to match the alignment rod on the ground compared to the wedge. It's gonna have a little bit of shaft lean to it. So for that three wood, ball position's kind of up by the heel-ish. Left of my logo, closer to my armpit. And as I start getting longer clubs, I'm starting to introduce a little bit of tilt with my upper body. I'm not trying to push my hips way forward. I'm just kind of introducing a little side bend up here. So that would be roughly around the three wood, five wood position. So as the club gets longer and the loft goes down, the ball goes more forwards. So if I grab my driver, I'm gonna put this golf ball back and bring out a tee. So that golf ball now is the most forward Back of the ball, it's kind of roughly around the back of my heel, kind of underneath my armpit. And the stance is gonna be the widest at this position. And also as the club's getting longer, I'm also scooting away from the golf ball. So there's the driver position, all set up and ready to go. So here's a quick little look on the setup and how the ball position changes from our wedge we have the narrowest stance, toes are still slightly flared, all the way up to a driver. And with the wedge, you're gonna have almost no tilt in the upper body. With the driver, we're gonna have the most tilt in the upper body. So hopefully this helps for a general baseline. Now, if we're moving the ball around in our stance, it could be for specialty shots, but this is just a general baseline that you could use and train off of. So using the golfer's toolbox is a great way when you're practicing to figure out where in space we're putting this golf ball so it can be consistent. That way as we're practicing, 
we know what that's going to do on the golf course and what's going to feel like to have that golf ball in the same position over and over and over.